Hello and welcome back to Children's Reading Cove. This is chapter two of Dragon Master's Song of the Poison Dragon. Chapter two. Petra knows it all. Drake, Rory, Bo, and Anna walked up to Petra. It's fall here, Drake explained. That's when it starts getting colder. We don't have fall where I'm from, Petra said, like there was something bad about fall. Just wait, it gets even colder in the winter, Rory snapped. Anna took Petra's hand. I am from the land of pyramids. It's warm there all the time, too. You will get used to the cold like I did. Griffith clapped. Come, let's bring Petra inside. One of the soldiers turned to the crowd. Back to the fields, he yelled. The dragon masters and Griffith walked into the castle. Petra talked the whole way. This is the castle? It's so gray and gloomy. Where are the white columns? Where's the gold? She asked. Petra didn't wait for anyone to answer her questions. She just kept asking them. That's a tall tower. How tall is it? Can you see the whole kingdom from up there? They walked down a hall to a wood door. A guard named Simon opened it for them. Petra, we will answer your questions soon, Griffith said. First, though, we will show you the training room and the dragon caves. Then we'll take you to your room. Griffith led them down the long staircase into the training room. Torches flickered on the walls. It's dark down here, Petra said. This is the training room where we work with our dragons, Drake explained. Bo pointed to a locked room. That's Griffith's workshop. And that's our classroom, said Anna, pointing to the room next to it. It's filled with books about dragons. We can read boring books any time, said Rory. You must be dying to meet your dragon. Let's go. The books sound interesting, said Petra. But Rory pulled her toward the dragon caves. Rory stopped in front of Vulcan's cave. This is Vulcan, Rory said, smiling. The red dragon showed off by spreading his wings. A fire dragon, said Petra. He can shoot a flame as tall as a tree. How do you know that? Rory asked. Everybody knows that, Petra replied. Then Anna led her to another dragon cave. This is my sun dragon, Capri, said Anna, pointing to the white dragon inside. Does Capri's moon dragon twin live here too? Petra asked. You know about moon dragons? Anna asked, her dark eyes wide. Doesn't everyone? Petra said. Bo waved to Petra. Come meet Shu, my water dragon, he said, leading her to a blue dragon with shimmering scales. She can, she can cure dark magic spells, said Petra. Before Bo could finish, Drake and Bo looked at each other, frowning. What a know-it-all, Drake thought. Drake walked over to Worm's cave. His brown legless dragon 
looked up when Drake got near. This is Worm, said Drake. He's an earth dragon, but you probably already know his power. He can move things with his mind, said Petra. Rory put her hands on her hips. How do you know all this? she asked. A long time ago, a member of my family was a dragon expert, answered Petra. His name was Cosmo. I have heard many stories about Cosmo and dragons. Cosmo even tamed a four-headed dragon. He kept it as a pet. And now, Petra, it is time for you to meet your dragon, said Griffith. End of chapter two. We'll see you soon for chapter three. Bye-bye.